All right, I'll go ahead and start a recording for YouTube too. Oh, that's cool. I got that cosmetic, uh, cosmetic shield, and it let me actually start with like the cool looking shield. Yeah, and it replaces all the cosmetics. Replace all the weapons of that type. So if you get like the cosmetic axe, no matter what axe you have equipped, you'll see that instead. Very cool. Which I, I like all the gold that they use. It's too much gold. I think gold's a little, a little tacky. Yeah, a little gaudy for my taste, but it's all I have right now, so it makes me feel fancy. Yeah, I'm using the, uh, the actual Saga set, all except uh -huh. the helmet, because I haven't defeated the final boss yet. But uh, you get a piece for each Jotun you defeat, and then you get a piece for defeating the, uh, the final boss. Very cool. You have to so get the anybody... last hit on it, though, so... Gotcha. If we, if we defeat a Jotun, I'll try to make sure you get the last hit so you can get the, the cosmetics. You will have no complaints out of me, sir. I appreciate that. And it's part of the uh, like the saga challenges and stuff. Right. So if you want to get like the final season rewards, you have to do that as well. They said they want to add more giants to the game, but I don't know like what other elements they'd add. Yeah, I guess they'll have to add new elements along with the new giants. Or they could just double down on the elements and oh well we got this giant who's also fire. Or mix and mash him like like a half fire, half ice yeah. giant. Oh, that might be really interesting. Yeah, I think they're trying to stay as true to like the mythos as they can, so that would probably go a little against it, but it'd be neat. I mean it's a game, so what does it matter? Right. You are definitely more learned in the mythos than I am. I'm I'm pretty ignorant to it. I mean, other than common knowledge of, you know, Thor, Odin, things like that. Yeah, each... There's not that many elements, I think. There's Dark, because you have the... I uh, can't never remember the names of the elf world. I think Niflheim is the, li the Light Elves. There's also the Dark Elf world, or Realm. You have the Fire Realm, the Ice Realm, mm. uh, Mospelheim, and Jotunheim. Uh, Midgard, which is where we're at now. Right. Also called, I think, Middenheim. Asgard, and uh, what else is there? Hell. There's nine of them. I think that's, what, six that I named? The yeah, little rusty. At, at least. <laughs> so I take it you were a big fan of uh, God of War? The most recent God of it, War? But yeah, I did, I did watch a Let's Play of it. I was, I, I thought it was really, really well done. Oh, Especially yeah. Especially from a narrative perspective. If I had a PlayStation, I would have uh, definitely gotten it, but I don't, so. Just don't do much in consoles or not a PlayStation yeah. person? Not anymore. I mean, everything that I want is uh, on PC for the most part, except for God of War, but. Right. I may, it will I be before do. too long. Yeah, I mean, they're adding some of the PlayStation titles, like Days Gone and Horizon Zero Dawn, so. Right. Hi, Jenny. How are you? All right, so let's keep harvesting stuff. Oh, yeah, we want to grab the quests, because that will be beneficial. Put some more souls in the tree there. Always a good thing. Empty nights. Another night, another set of armor stolen. Speak with Vigdis. Location marked on map. Okay, we'll try that one. Where on the map? How do I get out of this place? Oh, to the north. Hey, that's where it wants me to go. Northwest. Okay, I got stuck. <laughs> Oh, I accidentally used my runestone and teleported five feet away back to the, uh, back to where we yeah, started. I don't know if you can cancel that. Uh, enemies can cancel it if they hit you, but once you trigger it, I think it just, it happens. You can't stop it. I, I thought I canceled it earlier when I accidentally did it, but it's quite possible that I just got, you know, punched. And so that, that's what made it stop. Oh, gosh. I aggroed far too many enemies. <laughs> They're a lot stronger yeah. than I am. Oh no. Oh no. Oh god, that thing's scary. I'm watching your stream on my other PC. <laughs> and uh... That does not look yeah, like something might, you want to mess with. This might be the end of my saga. 
Okay, so I'm leveled up. Let's check out our blessings. I'm going to stay a warrior, because that's the easiest one to start with. And we'll do sword mastery. Alright, what are you? Let's fight. Well, you're tough. Ah, you're not too tough. I'm surprised at how few souls you get from things. Yeah, uh, I think that when you increase your, when you get like the purple pickaxe and uh, regular axe, it also increases the soul gain mm -hmm. from looting. But you get a lot of souls for like chests and defeating the giants, things like that. Gotcha. That's where, that's where you get the big souls from. And I think the quest also gives you a ton of souls and experience. Yeah, because I just killed a guy, and it gave me, like, two. But he he was not exactly a pushover. <laughs> or it gave me 20, I think. Well, that guy looks way too tough to fight. Nope. Yep, way too tough to fight. And I accidentally used my runestone. Neat. Oh, I think he's a giant. Well, good news, bad news. Good news, I'm close to you. Bad news, there's a giant fire following me. Oh, yeah, one of those uh, big, like, uh, ice guys. Yeah, they yeah. are. No joke. Maybe you guys will fight each other? Is there any infighting no, they can, of the they enemies? they can't hurt each other. But no, they won't fight each other. Um, if the Linarm shoots lightning, it can hit him. I think he has a couple AoE abilities that might hit the uh, Linarm as well. Yeah, I think if this thing looks at me wrong, I'm going to explode, so I'm just going to probably run away. It says I have sufficient power. It's lying. These guys are pretty easy to kite, so if you just go in and hit them three times, and then run away when their eyes glow red... Oh, okay. Uh, don't try to block their tail swipe because it's going to hit you anyway. Gotcha. Little goblins? I, I can also pick you up if you go down near me. Okay. Then I'm probably going to stay near you because I'm almost dead. Got like 100 hit points left. But this is also the direction of my quest, so. Actually, it might be best for you to go down and let me pick you back up. Oh, okay. All right, uh, next think, guy we see. I don't think you come back at full health, but you come back with more health than you currently have. So yeah, I've know. got 80 health, so. Hello, goblin. It's going to take a minute. All right, All right. I'm down. Let me kill these guys so they don't kill me while I pick you up, and... Oh, uh, this game is $20. It's nineteen ninety nine. And uh, I actually got it if you, um, if you subscribe to Fanatical, which is a website that gives a bunch of bundles and deals. They actually sent me a coupon for 25% off. So I think it was only like 16 bucks for me. I don't know if that'll be retroactive, but they're a, yeah, they're a you... good good site to subscribe to, and I've gotten a bunch of stuff from them for dirt. Like I just got uh, the Battlestar Galactica game for a dollar. Oh man, that's a yeah. steal! I think it's on my wish list. I don't have that yet. I think it's still available after stream if you want to go pick it up. I will take a look. Unless I already own it, I might already own it. I always forget. What games I actually own and which ones are my massive wish list. Yeah, same here. My wish list has like 700 things on it. <laughs> I think mine's sitting at like 1,400 or so. Oh, wow. Those are <laughs> My numbers are rookie numbers. I got to pump those up. Yeah, I, I spend a little bit of time each day just browsing the store looking for things I might be interested in. Me too. 
Do you buy anything uh, anywhere other than Steam or just on Steam? Uh, Steam and GOG. Yeah, I love GOG. If it's available on GOG, that's where I'm getting it. I have a couple of things on Origin, but I don't use it. <laughs> yeah, Especially now it's... that you can connect your Origin with Steam. Yeah, I, I have just a few things on... Um, what's the other one? The Epic Store? Because they have really good deals sometimes, but... So I'm gonna count. There's a healing thing over here if you want it. Uh, oh, that, shrine. Well, I'll limp over there. <laughs> I'll pick you up and you can go grab that. It doesn't heal you for a ton. I think it's like three or four charges of 100 health or something, but it's better than nothing. Yeah, definitely. Thank you, sir. It's like a little heal over time. Uh, these look like they explode. Am I correct? Yeah. Yeah, if you hit them, there's a delay. Like, you can knock them away. Oh, watch, I'm going to hit it real fast. It'll kill you if you get hit by it. Gotcha. The thing stopped it there, but it has a decent little roll distance. Uh, it seems random how far they actually roll. Sometimes it just, like, launch across the screen. Other times mm -hmm. they roll, like, two feet in front of you. <laughs> yeah, but that's usually it, how it works. Hit it and get out of dodge, because they will, they will kill you. Gotcha. I think even when you're uh, max level, they just do a ton of damage. Another health thing over here. Beautiful. Do those refill over time or every yes. day? Or... Yeah, those are refill. It might be every day. I'm not sure. I haven't really kept track of it. But I know that the there's a speed boost one that I've seen refill. All right, that's yep. our first Jotun. So Need should we get... go hunt them down instead of, like, uh, waiting on them? You have... At some point, yes. Um, we don't need to do it yet. It takes them a... I want to say like a day or so to get to. Uh... I haven't actually timed it, but we have, gotcha. we have time. Well, we are on day two. So let's see. Actually, our uh... oh, werewolf. Werewolves are probably the toughest enemy in the game. Oh, great. I don't really I know. <laughs> you can only dodge like one of their attacks. I don't know right. how to dodge their other stuff. I think I, I have got to go back one. to the tree. I'm going to use this shrine over here and go back. Once I grab it. Can you sprint? I haven't found an option to, but... No. Uh, the only way to speed yourself up is through the speed potions, speed shrines, or running on the road. Gotcha. Uh, some classes, the ranger class gets a movement speed uh, skill as well. Which is pretty darn good. Yeah, can't complain about that. Like a 20% movement speed bonus. Yeah, so that's definitely good for the scouting. Yeah, I wish the hunter class got that too. Alright, I will follow you back to town. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my Dump class. Dump off these souls. Uh, I should probably repair or buy a new sword, because this one's about to break. Yeah, I'm about to make a new weapon myself after uh, I upgrade these guys. I forgot to do that a little earlier, and our tree took a bit of a beating because of that. Uh, well, I can make a villager's sword too, so it's better than nothing. Actually, I think I have enough silver to make the silver pickaxe and silver axe. Also, don't if you're going to make a new weapon or upgrade your current weapon, uh, don't repair it because it'll repair. Right. Yeah, I just noticed that too. But that is definitely the tip of the day. So I guess... So it is worth upgrading your pickaxe and your lumber axe? Yes, absolutely. Okay. So it'll save you souls in the long run since it's more durable. And then, uh, you know, once you get the purple tier, you just get more resources. I'm about to put some stuff into the uh, four chest, so you might have enough to upgrade to silver. Yeah, uh, I just did. I just upgraded to silver. Uh, I've got 700 souls. What would you like me to do with them? Put them in the tree or upgrade things? You um, know the meta way more than I do, so. What level? Uh, I would upgrade the blacksmith and then put the rest into the tree. Gotcha. Upgrade is 500. Oh, okay, you hold it. Gotcha, gotcha. Hey, that leveled me up too. So I need two more Lenorm spikes. Do you have any uh, 
resources in your inventory? Uh, yes. I don't know what I'm looking for, so I will dump them all here in this chest for you, sir. Which, uh, place all. Yeah, cool. Right, perfect. That still let me keep my list. weapon and everything. Wheat X. That'll be really good for the Jotun. Well, I don't know what Jotun it is. Assuming it's anything but the lightning one. That should be safe. Right. Right, and then, um... That was the other shrine right there. Okay. <laughs> I grab that. So, so my next goal is to be is going to be to uh, make the archer towers. Uh huh. So we need stone, uh, iron, and um, wood. All right. I will follow you back so I can get that quest going again. And uh, always easier together, so we can pick each other up, or more accurately, so you can pick me up again. <laughs> So I'm going to head a little southeast. There's a shrine over here just to have it for later. Uh, probably won't do anything on that beach yet. Right. Yeah, the shared chests in this are really cool. I like that a lot. Yeah, it's just, it's really, it makes teamwork a lot easier. But then you have the jerks that show up in a game and just take all the loot out. Because there's achievements for uh, getting so many souls in a game. Uh -huh. And so they just take everything and sell it all. To try and get Ugh. that achievement. Bummer. Yeah. I like playing yeah, with people. But it's always nice to, to play with people that aren't jerks. And when you open it up, it's always it's always hit or miss, you know? Yeah, so far I've had a lot of luck. I mean, I've had people that just didn't know what they were doing in the game, which is fine. Um, no, that's me. <laughs> like, some people just refuse to put stuff in the chest, I guess, because they're afraid people are going to steal it. Right. So it makes things just harder on the whole the whole team. Yeah. But there's 10 players, so you know you have other people that aren't like that. And it usually right. balances itself out. Ooh. It says I am underpowered for here. I am just strong enough. Yeah, I got 146. <laughs> I will gather oh, resources. Okay. A lot of enemies. <laughs> oh, nope, I went down. Shoot. Um, I can loop around and uh, try he got and pick me. you up. Oh, okay. No, he, he threw an axe at me. Sorry. I didn't have that many souls. It's not a huge loss. Well, then I'm going to get the heck out of here. Okay, so I've got 400 souls, or 350. I guess I'll just put them in the tree. Uh, hold on to those, enough. actually, if you still have oh, them. Uh, yeah, sorry, I already put them in. That's fine, because we need souls for the uh, Archer Towers as well. Gotcha. Okay, well, we, we should get a, a nice little chunk from these guys, right? Uh, some of them. Some of them drop some 20, of some of them they just drop like one or two. Oh, uh, yeah, I think the level one Archer Towers take 100 souls and just a handful of stone, iron, and wood. Let me look. Yeah, 100 souls, three wooden boards, two cut stones, and one wrought iron. Uh, also, to upgrade your stuff, I think, I don't remember if the tutorial tells you, but the uh, you have to go to the Tinkerer, which is the merchant to the top left. Uh -huh. Which allows you to like upgrade and downgrade uh, resources. So if you need wooden boards, you just need wood. Go to her, she'll upgrade it for you. Oh, okay. It's a little, little over my head right now, but we'll we'll keep keep plugging away. See what we pick up. Oh, okay. I see ground one, ground two, ground three, corner one. Gotcha. Hey, we survived. All right, I need to go back and grab that stuff I left behind. I want to finish clearing out that camp. Uh, let's see right here. Wait, was that the right one? No, that's the wrong one. I went to the wrong place. Need to go a little bit more north. So the Ash oh, Beach. I really like the animation for the uh, the Bifrost when you fast travel. Yeah. It definitely lives Even... up to its Rainbow Bridge name. 
even leaves the little big Vasir on the ground when you go. That little uh, rune that shows up on the ground uh -huh. after you uh, teleport. It's called the Veg Vasir, and it's a like a safety charm. Uh -huh. uh, so like sailors and stuff would take it with them because so long as they had that with them, they couldn't get lost and they'd always find their way home. That's cool. You see it in a lot of Norse inspired like games and stuff, but I don't know just how common it was for people to use back then. Yeah, I, I bet it was very common, you know, like, um, like people wearing a cross even, you know, nowadays, I mean. Nah, man. Didn't realize how low my oh, health what? was. I put oh. my health potion in. Oh, no, I did not. I swapped my health. I swapped from my health potion to my mana potion. Shoot. Well, I might be able to give this guy the slip. <laughs> I can at least get closer to the... Nope, he got me. <laughs> I can at least get closer to the shrine, so it'll be easier to pick my stuff back up. Yeah, so actually, oh, I forgot to put this down. So the hunter class has this little totem I can put on the ground. And so when I die, instead of going back to the village, I spawn at that totem. I forgot to put oh, that down. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> can you change classes, like, in the middle of the game, or do you have to do no. it? No. No, once it's you put it down, you you're pick. committed. Gotcha. Yeah. Whoops, wrong way. Go around, right, go around. Right, camp on the first try. Yeah, exactly. First try. Hey, my stuff. Cool. Alright, so, so we just with, got an uh, event. An event? Let me go check out that stag. So the southwest. Um, not really a fast way to get there, is there? It doesn't look like it. Uh, what are the events? Just like a special enemy or a special item or something? Uh, it's usually just stuff you go and interact with. Like this one, you just go and you hold A or whatever on the stag. Uh, it gives mm -hmm. you event points, which you need to... So to get to the final boss, you have to build a bridge. Right. And the bridge requires certain points. You get points from Jotuns. Uh, I think they're called boss points or something. Uh, you get event points and you get quest points. And also uh, hideout points. So there's basically four objectives you have to continuously work towards in uh, in sync with building the bridge. This is more complicated than I thought it'd be. Yeah, there's a lot going on. Uh, and the hideouts are only appear in like one place. Uh, they're, they're, those are just dungeons you go through. Uh, then the Jotuns are the bosses, of course. The events, you just go, you interact with it, come back. Uh, well, actually, you just have to interact with it. This gives you to the point. And then... Um, What else did we need? Also, you need resources. I think you need like wooden stuff to uh, build the bridge as well. Gotcha. So it's just a ton of stuff to build the bridge, but it is to work towards the the, uh, the final boss, who is no pushover. I'm sure. So what's the best way of? I, I guess what should I be focusing on? Like upgrading my my weapons or. Once you get, so I usually just focus on getting like the lightning axe first because it's just, it's good against most enemy types mm -hmm. and, and the hell things. And then um, I don't really build armor until I have like archer towers and everything else. All my defense is taken care of because you really just don't need it. Right. Uh, once you get good at avoiding damage, like armor doesn't matter. Um, until you want to start going to like certain zones like the heat zone or cold zone and stuff. Far but you can also craft far. potions for that instead. Okay. Um, so yeah, once you get like a, a decent, maybe a blue, a blue weapon, you should be set for a while just to repair it. And, uh, you know, you want to get your up to purple resource gathering tools, the pickaxe and the axe, because you get more out of it. So that'll pay for itself in the long run. Mm -hmm. My crystals are hard to come by. Crystals, I don't remember which crystals you need. I think you might need aquamarine and garnet, which means you have to go to a desert zone and a beach. Because aquamarine you find on the beach and garnets you find in the desert. Gotcha. I'm trying to look at exactly what I need to get better weapons. Because I have a villager sword too, which is not that great. Healthling fingernails. I need two of those and I can make a better blade. 
Yeah, it's really cheap to get. Uh, what do you need? You said health thing fingers. Yeah, the fingernails. All right, those are those only dropped at night by the health things. Gotcha. And not all of them drop it. Uh, I don't remember which enemy types drop what, but one type drops the crown. Uh, I think it's the guys with the scythe that drops the uh, the fingers. Oh, see, I went and I looked in the chest to see if there was anything in there, but it, it counts our chest. Yeah, yeah. Very cool. Oh, uh-oh, my weapon broke. Hello. All right, I think I have enough resources. Once I get to the next shrine, I'm going to come back and build all the uh, archer towers. Mm -hmm. I just Maybe. need a weapon. Um, so I have 327 souls. You want me to just hang on to them? Yeah, or if you want to go ahead and uh, preemptively go ahead and put those in the Archer Towers or upgrade one of the uh, Merchants to the South. Because I think they're still level one. So you can upgrade one of those guys and then put the rest into the tree. Okay, so we've got a Trapper. And... Uh, the Armor is probably better armor, to upgrade. Yeah. Because uh, she can also upgrade our shields and stuff. Yeah. And eventually we will need the uh, those elemental resistances from the upgraded armors. All right, I'm going to just keep pushing forward without a weapon and hope for the best. <laughs> no, I'm not, because this is the wrong way. I'm already healed. What else we got going on over here? Oh, I picked up another shield. I didn't realize you could actually pick up things like that. Yeah, it's not very common, and I almost always miss when I do it, too. Yeah, I picked up a shield, too. I had no idea. Oh, it's the same one I picked up. I just saw it on your stream. Stranded Light Shield, too. Yeah, pretty cool looking. I don't think you can craft these, either. I think you can only find the Stranded Shields. I right, put a ton of resources into the chest and i have almost 1300 souls i need to repair my axe all right and i'm going to start working on the archer tower as well yeah i can do that while these guys are attacking they're not really a threat so i see that you can lay down the um the boards so do you put those down and then put things on them or is it another option to build the tower uh, the tower you just walk up to it and you because the tower's already placed you just have to go up there and uh build them um, oh okay they're, they're i thought it was something so those little white build. dots those little white dots at each entrance to the village right you just go up and put the resources into it um i don't oh, actually okay. know what the uh I was gonna say, I don't know what you use like the ground pieces for the village, like the the craft, the uh, stuff you build. I have no idea what that's used for. The ramps I you saw... can use to get up to higher elevations. Yeah, I was gonna say I saw in the oh. trailer people doing things like that. So I guess you could do that if you needed to build an extended bridge. Yeah, maybe. I'm not. Oh man, we're getting our butts kicked down here to the south. Oh, no. oh yeah, these guys are tougher than they were, for sure. Hey, All right, did it. barely survived another day. All right. Okay. All right, I need to get these archer towers done, and then uh, we should be okay. I was just supposed to pay attention to the tree. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Okay, so. So, like, the cut stone, we give that to the tinkerer, and he upgrades it? No, uh, so if you go to the Tinkerer, that's like the third 
tab over. Um, mm -hmm. You can just craft whatever you need. So, like, if we have stone, because you need stone to craft cut stone and flint. Gotcha. You just go there. I've already crafted everything that we can out of uh, what we have. All right, let me put some souls in here. Uh -oh. It so says the Jotun's close to our village. Yeah, I'm going to have to find him. Because uh, I don't know where he's at yet. I'm going to build a couple more archer towers before I go out and do that. Also, I archer towers to the top right and top left are better because uh, there's less NPCs because the south gate's defended by two NPCs. Mm. Gotcha. That makes a lot of sense. Uh, so, if we're looking on the compass, uh, it shows, like, the, the red skull. Is that the Jotun? Yes, yes. Okay. I'll, I'll go see if I can actually lay eyes on him and pick up everything I can on the way. So you can keep doing what you're doing. Also, if you, uh, after you build an archer tower, if you walk up to it, you can open up the tower's inventory and put arrows in it. So any special arrows you're not going to use. Oh, okay. uh, you can give to them and it boosts their damage. Just don't give them dark arrows because that'll reduce their damage against the uh, the health thing since they're resistant to dark. Gotcha. Uh, it is a fire Jotun. Halogi. Alright, good. He's not resistant to my axe then, but I also don't get bonus damage. Uh, this is Tribes of Midgard. It is a survival crafting roguelike with ARPG elements and base building and a little bit of tower defense. A little bit of everything. A little bit of everything. RPG elements, because you level up in each... Actually, I need to level up while I'm thinking about it. Increased damage with axes by 10%. Oh, he's got that explosion. That is not good. Yeah, it doesn't do damage over time, though. Even though he leaves like a lava pool on the ground, you can run into it, and you don't take damage. Oh, wow. Yeah, he hits hard. <laughs> and he has a lot of reach with that sword. Yeah, the sword, he does like a 90 degree turn with it, so it's, it's a little harder to dodge than it should be. Yeah, definitely for oh, there's me. There's two healing things to the south, two uh, shrines if you want to go grab them. Perfect, I do. I think they're like right off the road, so. Yeah. Well, I have some healing potions. I'll just use those. I don't like that there's a delay on your dodging. It's like he has to finish what he's doing before he can roll out of the way. I'm not a huge fan of that. Yeah, no animation canceling. It's a huge pain. Yeah. Because most games have it, but there's an occasional one that doesn't. Like, Bio Mutant didn't have it at first. So I see that you're like throwing lightning bolts. Is that because you have a lightning axe, or is that your uh, like your heavy Y attack, your mana attack? No, it's because I have an axe. It's uh, it's my mana. It's my mana it's... attack with the axe. Uh, axes have an axe throw. Uh, gotcha. So it's based on what weapon you have. Yeah, and I think some swords get there's two different sword attacks. There's one that throws like a whirlwind out, mm -hmm. and then uh, the other one is the the attack that you have where you attack in like a big AoE. Right. And then well, as you sword, get broke. higher tier higher tier weapons, you actually get uh, more abilities. So my axe actually has two abilities. I also have a heal. Yeah, I noticed that in the tutorial when it gave you the uh, like legendary equipment or whatnot. It had three or four. But the uh, the heal only heals for like 100 health. It's really it's not worth using. But I can just throw axes instead. Right. But the uh, if you get the Baldur's Blade, it gets like an AOE lightning attack, which is really cool. Mm -hmm. Whoa. All right, got a new sword coming back. And I put a whopping 74 souls in the tree. So, I mean, I think we're good. I think we can just let the town take care of itself. <laughs> oh yeah, this sword has a different attack. That's cool. Oh. Hey, got him. Well, you got him, but I helped. 
Thank you. I think you had the final blow. Did you get the achievement? Yeah, I did get the achievement. Good. All right. So, where where do you want me to focus now on what we're doing? I'm still getting my head around the meta. Uh, we should probably put a lot of these souls into the tree just because we kind of let that get away from us. Um, I'm oh, gonna yeah, finish definitely. building the archer towers and put the rest into the tree. Well, might upgrade an NPC or two as well. Okay. That'd probably be worth doing. Uh, part of the meta <laughs> is doing the quarry and stuff. I've yet to actually build a quarry or a lumber mill. Mm -hmm. I see I see the the use for it, but I want to focus on defenses right now. So we don't this, want to give them dark arrows, you said. Yeah, because they will uh, do less damage. Gotcha. Everything else is fair game, though. Especially gotcha. lightning arrows, because that does extra damage against those guys. Well, unluckily, the only thing I've picked up was the uh, dark arrows. All right, if we find a merchant, you can sell those, or you can save them and use them yourself uh, if you decide to go the bow route. Doesn't seem like a, like too much worth doing from what you were saying. It's good against some of the bosses because you can keep your distance and not worry about getting hit. Mm -hmm. But I've, I don't know, it's just, it's too clunky for me. I gotcha. I'm going to actually upgrade I... the trapper, and I guess. Yeah, I'll get the armor. I upgrade the blacksmith again as well. So I've got 1,500 yet. left. You think we should just put them in the tree so we have a nice base? Yeah. Uh, are the Archer Towers built? Um, I'm going to finish mm, Archer Towers here. Yeah, put those in the. Uh, you can get to put your souls in the tree. I'll, okay. I'll put mine in the I got uh, it. towers. Yeah, that puts us back into yellow. So that's, that's good. Yeah, and I'll have about 400, almost 500 to put into it when I'm done with this. Nice. Oh, I should focus on leveling up. So I need a little bit more stone. Uh, let's see. Do we have enough for... Self-revive when down? Oh, yes. Yes, please. Oh, I'm one short. Dang. <gasps> so you keep forgetting to level up. Uh, what do I need? Fire efficiency. Elixir. That's cool. Oh yeah, I can see those towers. They're putting in work already. Yeah, they're they're good for the first few days. I think day six is when you want to try and get them up to level two. Mm -hmm. Then level three is the max level. So what happens to souls when the uh, when the archer tower kills someone? Do they go into the tree, or do we have to go pick them up? Or? You have to go pick them up. So, like, if you don't uh, come back to the village to defend it, uh, you'll come back, and there'll just be a bunch of souls laying on the ground. You just go gotcha. around and pick them up. So, I'm guessing, since I have a purple sword, and these guys are purple, and there's a little down arrow by my damage numbers, that they are resistant to uh, what I have. Yeah, yeah. Green arrows are good, red arrows are bad. Yep. That Still does damage, but just not not as much. Right. Ooh, top left is getting kind of beat up. This big guy. Oh, it, oh, it's a blood moon, yeah, so the boss, boss guy shows up. I forgot that was a blood moon. Yeah, those guys are... Pretty nasty. NPCs have a hard time with those guys because they have like this AOE aura to them. Yeah. They just melt through the NPCs. It looks like the bottom might be having some trouble too. I'm picking these guys up. I don't know if it's a boss or what. Uh, no. You can you can tell because it'll be like a big purple circle with like a white star in it. Uh huh. That's how you know if it's a a boss or not. Gotcha. Okay. Cool. Well, it doesn't look like the tree took too much damage. No, it just took a little bit of damage from that uh, that one uh, boss guy. All right, need to let me get to this event, but I don't really have a good teleport, so I think I'll go here, get a little north. I'm gonna try and knock out that event. I need to see how much time is left on it. Uh, forty-four seconds. Oh nope, not making that. All right. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, it was just in my map when you said it. Uh, here's a traitor. Oh, no, I want to... Oh, I'm dumb. I was just looking at my map, and I was like, why can't I teleport? Sometimes I'm a little smooth-brained myself. So here's that traitor. Oh, he's got bad guys around him. Uh, no. Trying to sell stuff. Trying to sell arrows to you, buddy. Hey, that was 70 souls. Cool. You can have my old shield. You can have my broken weapon that I'm not going to use. I think you only get one soul for broken yeah. weapons, but it's better than nothing. And just get it out of your inventory. It is... Yeah, and it's better than spending 150 souls repairing it that you don't need. Like if you've already upgraded to a better weapon. So I need to go... Okay. And you said the quests give a good amount of souls, right? I think so. I haven't completed that many quests. Uh, cause some of them are a little left to luck. Uh, some right. require you to defeat certain enemies, and if you just can't find those enemies... Never fun. Then, uh, yeah. Like, there was one game, I was playing with another guy, he had a wolf, or a quest to kill wolves, and he just, he couldn't find any wolves. Oh, that uh, he sucks. He spent, like, the entire, the entire time that ten of us were playing looking for wolves, and he couldn't, couldn't kill any. No fun. So I don't think wolves are a guaranteed spawn. Some enemies are guaranteed in certain areas, but I think wolves are a little bit more random than that. Like the yeah, land of pools, you can find the linorms, and like the the blue elves you find on the beach and stuff like that. The first round that we played, I ran into a bunch of wolves, and this time I haven't seen any. And the wolves aren't. They're not great anyway. I mean, they, they make like the raider equipment, which is okay, but werewolves, on the other hand, werewolves, you need to make like the uh, purple tier stuff. Mm. I think some legendary equipment too. And you usually find those in the dungeons. A prisoner has been spotted. Yeah, so that one's actually the hardest of the events. That one does require combat, and it's uh, it's a ton of enemies you have to fight. So I so don't imagine we do too well at it. Might be okay. I have a lightning axe. It's usually it's Darkofar, and they're weak to uh, lightning damage. Mm -hmm. So if I, I'm gonna grab this uh, shrine up here and then come down there and take care of that. Yeah, I mean, the wolves attack me though. It's self defense, Matthew. It's true. Uh, okay, well, this is some weird sorceress lady who's trying to kill me. Yeah, they're they're pretty tough nuts to crack too. The uh, the duck of witches. Hey, I got her. Oh, I got some gold. Repair the bridge to Glacier Peaks. I guess that's my current quest? Oh, uh, that's the uh, main quest. That's how you get to the final boss. Ah, gotcha. building that bridge. A ton of gold in here. I don't remember what gold is used for. But I've got a lot for of it. Expensive rings and teeth.
All right, did I pick up anything I want to sell to this tra trader? Nope. So where exactly are you? I'm in a dungeon. Uh, so to get to one of the desert regions, you have to go through the underpass. Oh. Yeah, this isn't Titan Quest. Uh, I'm going to finish Titan Quest later this week. Uh, we're playing Tribes of Midgard. It's like Titan Quest. Just without the uh, the Titans and... I mean, if I There's some questing. <laughs> okay, so it wants me to go that way. So there's sort of titans and there's sort of quests. Yeah. <laughs> Just not a uh, no Typhon, thankfully. Oh, I'm underpowered for this area. Sweet. Now I can revive myself when downed, apparently. Yeah, we have to use that, but it sounds really good, especially for solo. I wonder if there's a cooldown or if it's just like once per life. I bet it's once per life. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Also, the desert region is really good for uh, like mined resources, so iron and stone and stuff. Just a mm -hmm. ton of it laying around. All right, another Jotun. Hmm. Back to base, drop off some stuff. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe, Matthew. There is a giant wolf. He is Titanic. I am playing the Hunter class, so it's more of a scouting class. Uh, I'm not actually using any of these scouting abilities yet, uh, but I have a decoy when I roll. That's pretty cool. And enemies will sometimes focus on it, sometimes not. And then I have uh, increased resources from friendly animals and plants. Does that mean Recall like totem? the uh, passive animals, like a uh, deer and things? Yeah, uh, I think it balances itself out because if I get the crystal uh, pickaxe and axe, I get bonus resources from that, and then I get extra resources from everything else with this class. And then uh, increased durability with my tools. I have a recall totem, so when I die, I can spawn on that instead. Uh, increased pushback on combo attacks, and increased damage with axes. Not a very combat-focused class, but... I mean, if I wanted to, I could go the Increased Fog of War reveal. Which is, I think, the class's greatest, greatest appeal. Yeah, but it's not that very definitely exciting. seems good. Support is very important. Oh, uh, you can use range. There is a increased damage to bow. I just don't care for bows in the game. That's why I'm not using it. So I'm going to head towards this event to the east. It's pretty close to the uh, the village. I'm trying to find us oh. some more uh, some more spawn points up towards the the top right. Yeah, I still haven't got to my quest yet. It's been so long trying to get to it. I just keep getting sidetracked. Yeah. Good job, tribe. Yeah, they survived on their day off. <laughs> <laughs> you know, days off are important. Oh, I'm so close to the quest, and then some big mean thing shows up. It's like, come on, give me a break. 
But I am, I am currently playing what most of the community considers the weakest class. Um, I don't know why I'm playing it. The other classes are more fun, but this one is uh, its good for scouting. Like if you have a smaller party, I think this class is worth picking up. Some of the traversal is kind of weird in this game. It's like, you need to go there. Okay, well, how do I get there? Uh -huh. It's like a lot of the paths don't have very obvious traversals to them. Yeah. Uh, one way to ignore that is to build ramps uh, so you can just skip uh, some segments. Yeah, I I'd say build... the ramps, though. So if you ever see on the map, like a kind of in the middle between me and you, mm -hmm. actually, uh, there's like to the west, there's like that upside down V. Yeah. Uh, with the five green dots. You have mm -hmm. to build ramps up to that. Those are ruins. They have pretty good chests. Yeah, the skill trees aren't super exciting. Uh, some of the classes are, have better skills. Mine mine is extremely lackluster as the hunter. Uh, Big Mitch is running the warrior. He has a much more exciting skill tree. <laughs> he gets a bunch of like bonus damage and uh, attacks and stuff. Some classes get new abilities altogether. Like the Guardian. The Guardian of the Sentinel gets a, uh, like a shield throw. Uh, the Ranger gets like a dodge back with his uh oh oh I'm, i don't have any healing oh no uh i think it's like a knockback with his bow or like a he like shoots the ground and causes an explosion knocks enemies back and then he jumps backwards with it yeah that's pretty cool oh picked up a bunch of other random things a bunch of weapons they're all worse than what I have, of course, but... Can I not rescue you? What's going on here? I found the prisoner, but he's not letting me rescue him. I don't know what's going on. I played ba Path of Exile back when it was in uh, beta. It just didn't keep my attention. And based on what I've seen, the direction they're going right now, people don't seem very happy with it. So I don't think it's a good time to get into that game. All right, so I don't know why I can't rescue this guy. Normally, after you kill all the enemies, you can just let him out of the cage, but it's not letting me do that. It might be bugged out for me. Need more fingernails. Bummer. Well, let's see what we can do to repair this thing. Uh, oh, it only takes 90 to repair it all the way. That's pretty good. Yeah, costs aren't too bad, uh, but it is a small train. That's why they, everybody likes the... I think it's the Warden class that has uh, infinite durability. Yeah. Yeah, because the Seer is the one that has immunity to um, envir environmental damage. Yeah, seems that way. I think he's just holding the door shut when I go up to try and let him out. He just prefers being a prisoner. <laughs> I like that. Hey, have you seen what it's like out there, man? I mean, you make a valid argument. All right, yeah. I cannot rescue that guy. Maybe we both have to be there? I'm almost over there. Yeah, see if you can do it, because it's, yeah, it's definitely bugged out for me. I think it's because I was looting a bunch of stuff beside him or something, and maybe I tapped A on his thing. Mm -hmm. Usually, I've had this bug before, but picking up something else usually fixes it. Maybe this will fix it. Hmm. Well. If I can figure out how to get over there. Ah, cool. I can just roll from there. Looks like. Just... Mm roll off of things and stop being it's fine it's just heights it doesn't matter uh it lets me get wood wooden board it's making me pick up the stuff around it so there was a uh, loot there for me maybe the loot that was like for me to pick up 
was yeah, in maybe the that way. was blocking it. Yeah, because yeah. as soon as you showed up and started picking it up, I could do it. Okay, well, that's I'll take that's it. a weird bug. Yeah, I don't really care for that. I'm gonna do this. So the hunter class also has a points of interest perk or skill. So it shows me points of interest on my compass, and I can go check them out. Uh, makes exploring just a little faster. That's cool. And it's the requirement for the uh, increased fog of war reveal. So it's definitely a scouting class. And I think it works well. Like if you have a whole group of 10, having one scout like this is not a bad idea. Because everyone should be assigned to different roles if you have a full 10 party. Like one right. person should be building defenses. One person should be exploring. Maybe a couple people should be exploring. Uh, if you have like the Sentinel or Guardian class that has like the AoE armor buff, uh, they're really good for defending because that affects NPCs as well. I'm going to see if I can grab this uh, shrine up here just in case we need it for later. Yeah, that's actually what I was going to do. Okay. Well, if you've got it, I'm going to keep going. Actually, I need to go back anyway. I want to go find my quest. Oh, wow. Yeah, you weren't kidding about that thing having a big boom. It hit this guy for 4,000 hit points. The the bombs that are laying around the world. Yeah. You can actually get those yourself as loot or consumables, and you can use them against like the giants and stuff. They're they're okay. Though it's a little hit or miss because they don't always go where you want them to go. Right. So you yeah, I picked up some kind of trap. It is interesting, at least. <laughs> oh, yeah, those... I. <laughs> the, uh... What's it called? The tripwire? Yeah. They're, uh... I don't actually know what those do. Like, I think they explode and do a ton of damage, but sometimes they just don't trigger at all. Mm -hmm. Also, you get a free weapon out of it. So if you drop it on the ground, go up and press A... Uh, you can uh, pull the weapon out of it. So if you don't have a weapon, you can just take one out of one of those. And I think that... it's equivalent. It's like if you have a blue version of it, you get a blue weapon out of it. Well, that'll be cool. That's a I'm good contingency that. plan. No, it's not a blue weapon. It's just a regular tier one weapon. Say, say. All right, so I'm sitting on a few thousand souls. I'm going to upgrade some of the NPCs. Yeah, I've got 2,300. You just tell me where you want them, man. I'll wait till after this night, because you can't interact with them while they're fighting. Right. Yeah, I was looking at upgrading a, a weapon, and it was just like, nope. He was like, hang on a sec. I gotta go kick the crap out of these guys. Hmm. Oh, because Path of Exile isn't any good anymore, or? Also, it might be worth hunting at the Jotun after uh, nights, after we're done defending the town. Yeah. Do the Jotun get progressively trigger. tougher, or are they just yeah, always... Each one... that... Yeah, each one when they spawn, they're stronger than the last one. Gotcha. Should we be building gates? Like the fortified uh, gates? I wouldn't do it yet. Okay. It's a train of resources, because you really only want it closed when you're here defending it. Right. Uh, so you can raise them so they don't get destroyed. Because again, if yeah. they get destroyed, you have to completely rebuild it. If they don't, you can raise the gate so they don't get destroyed, and they do regenerate health over time. Right. Uh, but you okay. can't actively repair it. I have a problem that when I put it down, I'll forget about it, and then I'll come back to a destroyed gate. Yeah, I can definitely see me doing that. Because uh, what you can do is close the gate, and you can run up on these ramps here, and you can actually jump off the ramps next to the uh, archer tower and mm -hmm. land outside the uh, village. Okay. And then uh, what I usually do is just run around the outside of the village and defend while they get stuck on the gates, but we don't have to worry about that quite yet. The enemies aren't that tough. Yeah, so far. Alright, our blacksmith is now maxed out. So what does upgrading them do other than make their uh, combat better? It also unlocks uh, more stuff, uh, higher tier stuff to craft. So ah. now we can craft legendary equipment through him, um, which requires giant parts. 
we don't have all those parts yet. Right. In fact, I need to go kill some more Linorms to get the next axe. And then I'm going to upgrade. Uh, what level is she? Okay, cool. Upgrade. I have a blue weapon now. All right, then the Tinker is level four now. I'm going to put the rest of my souls into the tree. Uh, I have 2,400. What would you like me to do with them? Uh, upgrade. I got to make the, yeah, make her level five. Yeah. Got it. And then uh, how much do you have after that? Because that's what, 1,500? Yeah, so I should have about 1,000 left. Um, I'd upgrade probably the, what the was the armor? Jeez, yeah, I have uh, 944 three. left. I was... Not quite enough to level her up. Uh, if we, uh, just keep saving up till you get a thousand, then level up the armor to level four. All right. And I guess we should grab another quest since I did that last one. I still haven't done my quest. <laughs> I haven't made it to my quest giver yet. Oh, it says um, progress on the personal quest will be lost. I thought I was just supposed to talk to that lady. No, she should have given you another objective. You can see it on the map menu. Gotcha. On the map screen. So I'm going to go grab my quest, and then I'm going to hunt down that Jotun. So a good ways away. Jeez. Every time I pick a quest, it's always at like the farthest point on the map. Yeah, I, I'm running into that myself. I think it's based on difficulty. If you pick an easy quest, it's really far away, but harder quests are closer. Gotcha. I have picked a hard quest before, and it was cl much closer to the... Uh, I mean, it's all procedurally generated. I mean, no, no what I'm saying is nonsense, but <laughs> I'm, I'm going to believe it anyway. I feel like it may be nonsense, but I feel it's correct. Also, uh, the quest markers or quest givers almost always have a shrine beside them. Yeah. So it's also one... worth going and grabbing it just for that because that's this more experience. One... She actually had two shrines, one just south of her and one just north of her. Yeah, so one's like the, the map shrine. The other one is her her shrine. <laughs> yeah. So she wants me to donate raider armor pieces. Oh, yeah, that's easy. Uh, those You should have enough resources to craft those. Cool. She just wants you just to go set. back to Go back there and turn those in. Cool, and that'll get us more souls. So I need to kill a witch. Okay, that's easy. You ever get a kill a witch quest? Uh, just find a big campfire. Mm -hmm. And if it's uh, if it's one of the camps that has the dark far, the dark elves in it, then there will be a witch in there. Gotcha. She's that's one of the few non random quests you can get. All right, Raider Helmet, Raider Curus, Raider Arm Guards, Raider Paints, Raider Boots. Oh, there's another boss in here. Well, I've never seen that before. The Roosters of Ragnarok. Okay. Yeah, that one's one of the, well, second hardest event because you have to chase the rooster down. The stag doesn't run from you, but the roosters do. Wow, crabs give 12 souls. That's interesting. Okay, cool. So hers is done. That gave me quest fragments, and that did give me a pretty good amount of souls. It gave me about 500 souls. I got 653 for mine. Nice. Alright, now that's done. I'm going to come back, and I'm going to hunt down that Jotun before it gets closer. Or she. Don't know which one it is yet. True. Never want to assume hopefully these days. Hopefully it's the she, because then I have a huge advantage against her with my lightning axe. And I think I can go ahead and max out. Well, not max out, but upgrade. Armor to level four. And then I should. Yeah, I can get him up to level five. Okay, I'm going to put the rest of my. Well, let me repair first, and then I'll 
put the rest into the tree. Because I'm sitting on another 1100. Actually, I'm going to upgrade the other guy. One tier, because I think he's at level 2. So 500 for level 3. I could put about 600 in 2. So what's decent armor? Really, whatever you need. Um, obviously, the higher tier, the better. Uh, yeah, because all I have I, is the villager stuff. That's what I'm wearing right now, too. Uh, honestly, the raider is not bad. It gives you decent heat resist. Um, you want to look at the first two stats, like the little potion-looking things. Or I guess they're thermometers. Right. Uh, that's, I think that's more important than the actual resistances that they give. Because mm -hmm. that allows you to explore the, uh, the hazardous zones. Hey, Broder, welcome to the stream, man. The feral uh, stuff I tend to get looks the, pretty decent, too. Yeah, the feral set's what I usually uh, end up getting. Rarely have I gotten the purple gear. Yeah, we're missing they have, stuff only had a for those, helmet too. One time. Yeah, I All think right. the feral stuff is fine. Uh, the raider stuff is also fine. And we will make the feral stuff for now, at least. Seems like we have plenty of stuff to do it with. Almost. Yeah, actually, I'm going to go and make some feral stuff as well. And then I'm going to hunt down this Jotun finally. Keep talking about it. I haven't done it yet. <laughs> actually, we're a little short on silver. So actually, I might just do the, the Seder set. Hey, dude. Oh, that, that costs... Oh, whoops. No, oh, shoot. No. The hair seer stuff? That just takes bones and leather. We have plenty of that. It's better than what we're wearing, at least. Yeah. I just crafted some of the higher tier stuff just to get us through, because I can collect... Like, I probably won't craft any armor past this, anyway. I'm going to go sell the armor I'm not using anymore. Let me find a merchant... I'll probably go back and defend the village tonight and then take care of the Jotun in the morning. Yeah. And I'm still here at the village, so I'm keeping an eye out in case it gets too terrible here. Hey, fingernails. We need those to upgrade my weapon. Oh, that's cool. I like the um, the big AoE attack you can do that simultaneously heals you. I was wondering what that did. I hadn't actually used that weapon before. It's called like Sickly Drain or something. Uh, I'm not sure what it's called, but it's like the, the right bumper. Yeah, because yeah, mine just doesn't heal. It's like 100 health heal. It's not it's not great. It's not worth two mana bars. Not when I yeah. can throw out two axes and do over a thousand damage. Yeah, this one makes a little AoE that stays there for a little while, and every time it pulsates, it hits them, and it heals you. That's really good. Yeah, that'd be good for making a stand. One of the classes gets a last stand, so instead of dying, you just get knocked down to one health. Which isn't great if you don't have healing. Like, if you're already down to one health, I don't think that's, uh... I'm gonna do you much good. good skill. Yeah. Because you're already in dire straits at that point, so... I mean, it might let you pull back and like pull out a bow or something if you have a bow on you. Yeah, but that's cool because like I, if you don't have potions, there aren't a whole lot of other ways to heal you. So it's it's pretty cool that that is offensive and defensive at the same time. Yeah, one of the tank classes actually gets up uh, like up to six percent health regen or something. It's really good. Yeah, wow, that is really good. It, it requires two skill points though, because the first one's uh. 3%, then you get the second one for 6%, and then the other tank class gets up to, like, plus 40% health. Alright. Let me see, because I picked up a bunch of those nails we need, let me see if I can actually, uh, you upgrade my weapon. Oh, the giant's, like, right here. Oh, really? I didn't see the message saying he was near the village. I didn't either. Uh oh. I'm gonna try and build a gate real fast. 
I don't have enough stone. Oh, well, all right. <laughs> this might be over then. The uh, blacksmith does bonus damage to him because he does fire damage. So maybe. Nope. This is it. I knew I was supposed to hunt this guy down. I just kept, kept procrastinating. <laughs> well, such is life. Still have fun, and I'm I'm picking up more of the game as we go. Well, goodbye, World Tree. We should have uh, left through the Bifrost, actually, because when you leave through the Bifrost, you get uh, golden horns. Mm -hmm. All right, so I got the Cold Blood Rune. That's the one that you get HP regen when you're taking cold damage. So I did some achievement challenges that I can go in and claim. Make it rain. Keep 20% of your souls when you die. That's cool. Yeah, it's okay, but I feel like it also admits defeat like if you bring that with you. <laughs> Maybe it's just planning for the worst case scenario. Hair Seer Sword 3... It told me how many times I've exited through the Bifrost. It doesn't give you uh, like a counter for your challenges. Right. Yeah, boo. Boo, Matthew. The bad guys won. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and end this recording for YouTube, and then I'll keep the stream going, but it's just it's always easier to keep my recording shorter. Yeah, yeah, it takes forever to upload. Especially yeah. Late. I've also been, I've had larger game or recording file sizes. Think, yeah, it um, can definitely put a burden on you. 20 gigs. So if you're watching this on YouTube, I'll see you in a minute.